Hello. In this session, we're going to focus on like a sit up motion. It's rounding your lower back and it's something people have a difficult time with in general. It is not an essential movement for your long term health and long term health and well being, but it does help with um, range of motion and feeling strong. Um, but it's again, it's not something that everyone needs to be doing proficiently, unlike, let's say, a back extension, right? which people need a lot more in their lives. Now, you'll need a, a block, which you're gonna put between your shins, and I have a strap. I yoga said that this doesn't stretch. This strap has no give to it whatsoever. You're gonna take the strap around your feet. The strap comes from your feet to your pinky finger. Palms are facing you. That just helps your wrist alignment there. Sitting up as tall as you can, breathing in. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest and slowly round forward. Bring your forehead towards your kneecaps Elbows are bending here to pull me forward. Stay there. Relax your shoulders. Breathing in. Your next will slowly roll your backbone up a wall behind you. Head is heavy. Eyes come level last. Great job. Breathing in. Exhale. Chin to chest. Round your spine. Elbows bend. Curl forward. You can squeeze that block to help you here. Stay. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, roll your backbone up a wall behind you. Head is heavy. Shoulders wide. Eyes come level last. Great job. Breathing in. Exhale, squeeze the block. Bend the elbows. Dive forward. Round your spine forward. Stay here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, squeeze the block. Relax your shoulders. Head is heavy. Eyes come level last. Breathing in. Now, as you exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Round your spine to curl forward. We're going to stay in this shape. Breathing in. Keeping your upper body in this shape, you're going to squeeze the block, hold on to the band, round your lower back backwards towards the mat behind you. Your hands can slide a bit on the band to give you more assistance there, to give you more support in case you can't go far enough and then you're limited by the um, length of the strap. Breathing in. Now really exhale deeply, squeeze the block, bend the elbows, and bring your forehead between your kneecaps. Great job. Breathing in. Exhale, round your lower back, roll backwards. So I'm really keeping my lower back in that rounded shape as much as I can to roll back. The goal here is to try to bring your waistband area towards the floor without going above your waistband area to your lower back. Breathing in. Elbows bend, forehead dives down between your kneecaps. Breathing in. Exhale, keep rounding your lower back to roll backwards. Squeeze the block. Keep your heel bones on the floor. Try and get your waistband as close to the floor as you can without going above your waistband to your lower back. Breathing in. Heels stay down. Exhale, round your lower back. Bend the arms and dive forward. Really great job there. Again, exhale, round your lower back to roll back in space. Relaxing your shoulders. Trying to bring your waistband towards the floor as far as you have comfort. Breathing in. Great job. Exhale, squeeze the block. Elbows bend. Round, dive your forehead down with your kneecaps. Breathing in. Great job. Squeeze to roll back. Relax your shoulders. Bring your waistband towards the floor without going above your waistband. So really try and get that waistband to make contact with the floor by rounding your lower back. Great job. Exhale, elbows bend, and pull your body all the way forward. Breathing in. Exhale, squeeze the block. Roll back. Now try and get your waistband to the floor. If you're not at your waistband, try and get there more. If you are on your waistband, now try and get your waistband and your lower back to make contact with the floor. Breathing in. Exhale, squeeze the block. Elbows bend. Curl forward. Really great job. Nice work there. Exhale, squeeze the block to roll back. Try and get your waistband. And if your waistband's there, then waistband and lower back. If your waistband's not there yet, just try and get closer to your waistband. Easy to make contact with the floor behind you. Great job. Exhale deeply, elbows bend, round forward, forehead towards your kneecaps. Two more to go, really good. Exhale, squeeze the block, roll back, relax your shoulders, try and get your waistband. If you're on your waistband, go just above to your lower back. If you're not on your waistband, don't skip over it. Try and get to your waistband first before you get to your lower back. Breathing in, great job. Exhale, squeeze the block, elbows bend, dive all the way forward. One more time, really good work there. Again. Squeeze the block to roll back. Bring your waistband towards the floor. Great job. And then bring your waistband and lower back to the floor. If waistband is there, if your waistband is not there, again, 
don't skip over it. Try and get the waistband down first. Breathing in, really good. Exhale, squeeze the block. Bend the elbows, dive all the way over your legs. Mm -hmm. Then sit up nice and tall, vertical. Excellent job, that was really well done. Now, another way to focus on that is to start laying on your back. I recommend you use a pillow here. I'm gonna take the loop end or whatever you have around one foot laying on your back. Your leg can be a bit bent or straight where it feels better for you. The strap comes from my foot up towards my torso. <laughs> I'm grubbing pinky first again towards the band, not thumb first. Pinky first from your foot to my pinky first, easy. Now, as you wax, so bring your chin to your chest, lift your head, neck and shoulders up, hand over hand coming forward. Stay here, just press your lower back against the floor gently pulling on that strap, keeping your heel bones down. Then repel hand over hand to return down. You'll feel a nice arch to your lower back. Again, exhale, chin to chest, hand over hand, pull your body up, just pressing your lower back to the floor. Use your arms to help pull, but keep the heel bone down, breathing in. And exhale, repel, hand over hand, articulate all the way down, really good job. And again, exhale, chin to chest, hand over hand, curl up, and really round, try and press that lower back against the floor quite strongly. Take a nice breath in, relaxing your shoulders. Great job. And then repel down, hand over hand, all the way down. You're gonna switch legs in the strap. Again, you can be a bit bent, that's totally orthodox. Breathing in. Exhale, chin towards chest, lift the upper body up, hand over hand, pulling your body forward, climbing forward, really pressing your lower back to the floor, pulling on that strap, keeping the heel bone down. Great job. And as you exhale, undulate down, return all the way, a little arch to your lower back, breathing in. Again, exhale, chin to chest, upper body lifts up, round your lower back, pressing your lower back towards the floor. Stay there, really pulling on that band, relaxing your shoulders as you do so, really great. And slowly undulate all the way down, little arch to your lower back, great job. One more time. Again, exhale, chin to chest, curl up, round your lower back. Lower back makes contact with the floor, pulling your body center as much as you can. Breathing in, you got it. And exhale, slowly undulate and articulate all the way down. And there you go. Those are really great things to practice to help get your lower back to have more rounded and more stretched to it, right? It could be a really good feeling, it could be a nice strengthening feeling. Now, if you wanted to make it a bit larger major motion, you don't have to. Breathing in, I put the band on the other foot. You can always hit pause. Exhale, chin to chest, what it lifts up, round your leg. Now, if your heels can stay down, you can climb forward, pulling your body forward away from the floor here, gently breathing in. And same thing to roll back. You can rappel down, hand over hand, try and get your waistband down first, then your lower back, then your middle back, then your shoulder blades, your head is last, breathing in. Exhale, chin to chest first, upper body lifts up, your shoulder blades leave the floor, your middle back leaves the floor, lower back to the floor, then your lower back leaves the floor, and then your waistband leaves the floor to climb forward. You got it, breathing in. Slowly undulate all the way down. Feel free to bend your knees, you might like that more. First we have our waistband, then your lower back, then your middle back, then your shoulder blades, then your head. Great job, one more time, you're on this leg, breathing in. Exhale, chin, chest, upper body lifts, head leaves the floor, shoulder blades leave the floor, lower back to the floor, middle back leaves the floor, Waist, lower back leaves the floor, waistband leaves the floor, and then pull your body all the way forward. Great job. Start to undulate back, hand over hand, take your time. First we have our waistband, then our lower back, middle back, shoulder blades, head. Really great job. We're gonna switch the band to the other foot, breathing in. Exhale, chin to chest, head leaves the floor, shoulder blades, lower back to the floor, middle back leaves the floor, Lower back leaves the floor, then the waistband leaves the floor, pulling your body forward, relaxing your toes. Great job, they're easy. Slowly undulate down, take your time. First you have your waistband to the floor, then your lower back breathing, then your middle back, then your shoulder blades, then your head. So that is sequentially moving through all those parts is really helpful. And again, upper body first, head leaves, shoulder blades, lower back to the floor, middle back leaves the floor, lower back leaves the floor, then your waistband, leaves the floor to pull your body forward. Really great job. Start to repel backwards, hand over hand, waistband, lower back, middle back, 
shoulder blades, head. One more time, great job. Again, upper body first, uh -huh. lower back to the floor. Slowly keep those heels down, pull the body forward. Easy, relax your shoulders, great job there. Slowly pull backwards. First, it's your waistband, easy. Then your lower back, middle back, shoulder blades, and then your head. Excellent job, you can roll over to your side to come out of there. And there you have it, a nice easy way to practice a sit-up like motion that's safe and supported. Coming all the way up and down off the floor is not necessary for long-term health and well-being. You can live a long full life and never do a full sit-up. However, I have found that getting your understanding how to get your lower back to round can really help in moments where you need sort of that strength of being in that position, either when you're laying on your back or laying on your side and rolling and twisting forward. It's helpful sometimes to know when your lower back is rounding versus not rounding and how to make your lower back round more is really uh, foundational in terms of a movement practice, but a sit up, not foundational for a movement practice. I think that was pretty clear. Anyways, my name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.